Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4. And in this episode of our season as Joey Logano, we're going to be completing race 23 of 36, which is the Consumers Energy 400, mispeedway.com. I almost said mispeedway.com. To be honest, that's probably what I call it. No one's going to go to that website unless they want tickets, but you know, it's, I guess it's where you got to go. We're going to drive this white and green Instacash slash Money Lion car because it is white and green and this race logo is also kind of white and green. In the last episode, Race at Watkins Glen got our third win of the season. Just a couple races after our second win in New Hampshire. So that, that, that made me very happy inside. I, I had to get out of my chair. That's, that's how happy I was inside. So can we win in Michigan? Last time we went there, I mean... I thought we had a good chance. We kind of got booted out of the way in the final stage, finished 10th instead. Also, um, I, I fucked around with my hair just to keep you guys um, appealed to this, this, this video because I don't know if the racing is going to be good enough, so I had to make sure that my hairline was stupid as hell. It's something that you can keep your eye on. Martin Truex Sr. has 999 points. That is problematic. And then you've got Ryan Blaney, my teammate. He finished second place at Watkins Glen. He was on my tail the whole time. He has 666 points. Oh my goodness. But we are only nine points behind Kyle Busch right now. Let's try to gain some more of them, if not all of them, on him in this race. And now, we've got JC with the Tony Stewart hat. Now, you don't know that because you can't see it, but um, you can see the NASCAR logo on the back of it to adjust the tightness or whatever it is. Okay, you gotta let off for turn one. Just a little bit, so I can stay at the bottom and make that track as short as possible. I don't think I really need to let off the gas that much at all for three and four. I kind of just got to go from the top and then curve it into the bottom. I'm not wearing my glasses. Why? Because um, I'm trying to look as different as possible, as unrecognizable as possible. You wouldn't recognize me if you went to a NASCAR race and you're like, hey, I'm a big fan of JC1424. You wouldn't, you wouldn't recognize me. I had my hat on backwards and I wasn't wearing my glasses. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you would not, unless you saw this video, so, shit. 16th? I don't want to start 16th, fuck 16th. I'm going to put my glasses on, although I have to admit, I do look like KKB18, or whatever that YouTuber's name is, he did a vlog for the race, he was there. As a matter of fact, in his vlog, um, he, one of his shots, it's, one of his clips started with him and his camera pointed right behind me and my girlfriend, behind the Bristol side. I was like, oh my god. That is us. I didn't even realize this guy was video, videoing us. I, I remember his channel. I haven't um, watched it in years. I went just to go to check out that vlog. But Alex Bowman is on the pole. Kyle Busch second. Eric Jones fourth. Denny Hamlin fifth. And then Martin Trex Jr. in sixth. So, of course, Joe Gibbs racing. They're doing their thing. Keselowski and Harvick on duty seventh and eighth. So, I have to get the second in the first stage from 16th. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't even know if I can get up to there where he is in the first couple stages, but we're 14th now, so I gained two spots. Who did I gain them from? Well, Kyle Busch, he didn't get sent to the back. Well, that really freaking sucks. Paul Menard had to replace his transmission. Eric Jones failed technical inspection. Well, that's one of the Joe Gibbs drivers that's not up there. Although I wish it was Kyle Busch, not Eric Jones. We like Eric Jones. He drives a 20 car. Tony Stewart drove the 20 car, so I like pretty much everybody that ever drives a 20 car, so hopefully Whoever gets in there after Eric Jones can't keep the ride if it's somebody that's really good. I mean, maybe, maybe Tyler Reddick could drive a 20 car. Or I can't think of anybody else. Maybe Kyle Larson would be late. Joe Gibbs Racing except Stuart Haas. I'm going to start on the outside. I'm just trying to make it work. Elliot clears us. We cut down to the bottom. Now we're getting a bit of a runoff of two. I, I really fucked around with my hair. And that's how I can say I look like that KKB guy. Because I saw him in his vlog. I'd actually seen him before. And he even said that in his video that he doesn't use, do videos like that. But I seen like all his, his uh, compilation, whatever those things that he does. Up 10th. Big split that came somehow from these guys with Ryan Blaney behind me. That's six laps in this first stage. Five to go. Let off. Yes, back up again. Okay, I mean, I can see us getting back past uh, Almarola. Where is Kurt Busch? Freaking Kurt Busch. How? Damn. 
Man, I'm rolling slow. Kurt Bush is fast. I'm just kind of like medium speed, I guess. Yeah, I'm not trying to push you. I'm not trying to wreck you. Oh, go ahead and wreck or something. Like, you suck. You, you were doing so good, and then you just stopped and started doing really bad. I'm just trying to maintain position because it's like that damn Kurt Bush slowed me down. First, I was slowing him down. Now, he slowed me down. And then he's going right back around us. Can I please just get to ninth place? Because, like, that's the most I see us doing in the stage. Kyle Bush is taking the lead from Bowman up there. Oh my god, Blaney. I appreciate the help, but I'm kind of overdoing it. I'm going to get this ninth spot. Kyle Bush is going to gain back all the points that I just gained on him in the last race in one freaking stage. You know, that's that makes me sad on the inside. Push me. Push me. Come on. Can you go up the track with me? Maybe. I would like to go up the track so that I can get a better entry to turn one. But Ryan Blaney don't want that for us. And Kirk Bush is getting away. And then the stage has to end early. Blaney got around me. Of course he did. Like, why wouldn't he? Uh, Kyle Bush, he, he gained back all the points I gained on him. And more. Yeah, and more. He gained a whole 10 points. And plus one playoff point for the winning stage. Okay, well, um, I don't have any damage repairs. So that's nice. We'll get four tires. And... I think I should just put half a can in there. Now let's put half a can in there. I gained a spot. I don't know if that's a good thing, because I was going to just be 11th in that case. Oh, well. Is that Martin Trex Jr. in this black and... Car up there. It's a serious XM car. Okay, let's try to make this outside line work. At least better than we did the time last time for us. Kurt Bush is still underneath us. Try to see if I can mark it in there just right. Something like this. We gained positions overall last time, so we can gain positions overall this time. We're all gaggled together. We got seven laps in the stage. Take it underneath them in here. Let's get the Truex. Yep, and we got Truex. Kyle Busch is on the outside. Hopefully he can keep falling back in the stage. I can gain most of those points back. I mean, he's only third right now. I'm pushing the handle on the bottom. I mean, I am, but he's not getting anything out of it. Kyle Busch has got more pushers. Just trying to hold this bottom line. And here comes Kurt Busch to push. Kurt pushed to push. Kurt pushed. You didn't push anymore. Okay, now Truex wants to push. Push harder. Push push very much harder. Damn it. What the fuck? I'm trying. You push me in the corner so freaking hard that I just overdrive it. And now I'm running up here, I guess. And we're kind of settling in this area with the leaders. We could get up to the lead. Kozlowski? Kaz Growlowski, new driver, Kaz Growlowski, he's, he's leading, my teammate is leading, I mean he's won one race a while back, trying, oh, Kozlowski lost the lead, Bowen's back to it, Kozlowski just made Hamlin check up, and again, what, I don't know why Hamlin has to check up for Kozlowski though, a hard time switching lanes and then holding my line afterwards, on this outside line. Now when everyone's holding the bottom. So I guess no passing anymore. But they don't they don't hold lanes like that like they used to. They kind of just change lanes just to hell to the hell of it. It looks better that way, I gotta be honest. It's a freaking train. Ugh. And around him we go. And it looks like I'm gonna be losing points on Kyle Bush again because I can't get up there at this rate. My car really seems to be lacking in, in corner grip, and it really ruins, you know, I could use straightaway speed and shit, but I lose so much grip off the corner and that I just wind, wind up not being able to keep up with them in the straightaways because the track can't hold me that much. We're up to fifth. Trying to get to Keselowski, I think I could do that. I'm coming in. 
Okay, it's stuck pretty well. And we're coming to the, the white flag for the stage. And I don't know if they, they wave a white flag for a stage. For the end of a race, sure. You just go white and green checkered flag for the end of it. We're getting it? No, we're not getting it. Not yet, at least. Denny Hamlin's going to push. Okay, this should seal the deal for me because that, that was one really big push. And it looks like Kyle Busch is trying to get back to the lead right here because Alex Wilman blew that corner. They're going to be three wide. Almost three wide. It looked like it was going to be at first, but Alex Bowman got that one. And Kyle Busch takes second, I think. We got up to fourth. I can win this thing. I think the last time I took the lead, at Michigan in the final stage, and they all just kind of booted me out of the way, and that was the end of it for me. Uh, with how competitive it is up front, I don't know if I can actually keep it. Probably have the same thing as last time. Because it wasn't much of a problem with the tire wear, it wasn't just running me out of the way. I think the fact they were able to do that was because of the tire wear. And they're just so competent that I don't think it will change. But uh, no damage to repair, we'll get four tires. Um, we'll fill up the tank. I'm still fourth, of course. Uh, we should have skipped enough laps with that caution so that I could make it to the end of this stage. I mean, that was a full tank right there. So that's the most gas that I can get. We got nine laps to go. I had 11 laps on fuel. So we should be fine unless we, we consume more fuel than what the estimated amount should be somehow. And then we'd all have to go down the road to be honest, wouldn't we? I'm going to drop down the bottom in front of Hamlin. Get the runoff under Kurt Busch. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a side draft or something, but it's not working. I, I can't side draft in this game. I don't know why it's so difficult, but I've never been able to really pull it off. Come on. Too tight. Well, I'm on the regular default setup. Maybe I should put on like plus one or something just to get a little bite out of it. And we're finally passing Kyle Busch. In the end, this is a points loss for us on him. And then there's, unless he just freaking blows up, I mean, there's no way around it. We lose points on Kyle Busch. So at this rate, I'm just trying to finish in front of him. We got our fresh tires and everything, and we're up front, but Alex Bowman and Kurt Busch are getting away. I'm just trying to hang in there. Kurt Busch went up top. Kyle Bush, train with the bushes. I'm in the bushes, guys. I'm in between the bushes. We're closing back down Alex Bowman now. Okay, I did not let off early enough. But Kyle Bush wants to push. Alex Bowman, he's getting so much clean air right now. Gotta pull him behind him. I'm drafting. Kyle Bush is not. I am drafting. What the heck, game? Like, you don't even have to have a drafting partner for your AI driver to, to hang on there. I just got screwed over. That, that'll make sense. Same thing over and over again. Hamlin pushes me in the front stretch. I beat him into turn one. And then we get to the back stretch. And he pushes me there. All I'm gonna do is go up. He's like, okay, I'll work with you. And then, and then I go into turn three and he stays high. And we're about to run out of gas, I guess. But we skip our laps from that caution, so that's good. And this has just been a really boring race. You know, we raced, and then it was the end. Alex Bowman wins the race. Wait a second. Was, was Kyle Busch about to blow up? Kyle Busch started blowing. You've got to be kidding. Wait a second. It says, like, what? What? Oh, my God. What? Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> that, it's not biased. Nazareth Heat 5 is not biased. Whenever you DNF, even if you cross the line, it's a DNF. And Kyle Bush blew up just before the start finish line. And just because he was blowing up, he finishes in 39th place. <laughs> oh my fucking lord. I, I lost so many points on him in the stages. And we take third place from him in the standings all because of that. What the? And I am now 12 points in front of Kyle Bush. I was nine behind him, so I... I I gained 21 points in that race. That was all the final stage. The first two stages, I was losing points on them. If I could have qualified a little bit better or something, then it could have been more than that. But still, I, I mean, oh, I'm happy. That was a, still a boring-ass race. It was hardly eventful. We just kind of climbed to the field, things stretched out, and then, you know, whatever. Um, Denny Hamlin, we helped him, him gain points on Truex. I mean, he could have gained more points. He just wanted to push me around, but... You know, Truex was behind Hamlin somewhere. And Ryan Blaney, he uh, he's not on the front page anymore. He's fallen to ninth. Eric Jones still in tenth, despite having started away from the back. But, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm so lost. That, that was, and I just said, it was like, maybe Kyle Busch will blow up or something. And this game loves me. This game loves me. I like NASCAR Heat 4. I hate this game, but I like NASCAR Heat 4. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But I'll see you guys next time, next week in the NRA Night Race, Bristol Motor Speedway, uh, Bass Pro Shops. We're going to use this paint scheme. I think we use it in the same paint scheme we did the day race at Bristol. But I love Bristol, and this is a very special event. And then next weekend, we also have the Bojangle Southern 500, where we can finally see me in the throwback, the Kevin Harvick Pennzoil throwback. See you next time. That's that and episode over.